Man, I tell you what, I am excited to be on Lake Palestine for the first time and looking out across here, man, it just reminds me of these East Texas fishing towns, man. Docks everywhere, water is calm, looks like we're gonna have some good weather. And I think that's where, God dang, Jeremy got to set up pretty nice this time, Jack. Some nice little living arrangements, man. I tell you what, that'll make me come back. Jeremy got to set up on the hook. Go see what he's talking about. What's up, man? Hey, what's going on, buddy? Same old thing. Oh, Smart. man. All right. Good to see on. you guys, man. Oh, Rod's been getting me lined out. Okay. Get, getting my head right for this lake here. I tell you what, between the three of us, I'm sure we can get something figured out. You got anything in mind? He's telling me there's some fish under his docks. Uh oh. There's some fish out on brush in deep and shallow water. We gonna get a little bit of everything. I think I like that, man. Uh, I try to be a well-rounded fisherman, so docks don't scare me any. Man, uh, old Mike has set us up really good here at Palestine Resort. Beautiful place, man. They actually, he installed a beach since we was here last year. Look out. I'm telling you, got the beach right there. We can take a dip. We, we can go swimming. With the fishes. With the fishes. <laughs> <laughs> I seen a couple divots down there. I thought a couple bluegill might have been trying to bed right there at the beach. No, don't get me excited, man. God, I'm ready to go. Can we go now? Can we go now? <laughs> I'm ready, man. I spent most of my life chasing. Chasing success, chasing money, chasing respect. Truth is, nothing has brought me joy like being right here on the water. Rod in hand, hook on the line, chasing crappie. I am a crappie angler. These are our stories, and this is On The Hook. We're back here, we're fishing with Kenneth again. I love fishing with this dude. You never know what he's gonna come off with. My name is Kenneth Pierce, AKA Fishing Ken, 38 years old, and I am a crappie fisherman. Crappie fishing isn't just a hobby, it's a way of life as well. Listen, it's how I can provide for my family. And one thing about fishing, it's not work, it's enjoyment every time. Man, this is getting just a little bit too low key for me. Are you ready to go out there and try to get on some of these? There he is, guys. Fishing Ken is back with us again. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go get on. Let's go. This Texas heat, man, is legit. It's already super hot. It is affecting our bite a little bit, but I got faith in old Kenny. He's gonna get her figured out. This Texas heat down here, at this time of day, has already got a lot of fish pushed up underneath these docks. So we wanted to stop in here a lot of times that There'll be brush piles around the docks. Look for hinges on the decks for a trap door because if there's a trap door in that dock, that means they have put a brush pile, they'll open the door and they'll fish it. And what we're doing is dock shooting. We're loading the rod up and shooting the jig back in there, counting it down and trying to bring it right across uh, through the brush piles. With the advancement in the rods and reels and lines and jig heads, we can actually skip that bait all the way up underneath there to their brush pile. And that's what we're doing right now. Huh? Did he come out? Cut. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> he got him out. Cut. Hey, we have broke the ice. Tell your mama. <laughs> <laughs> Tell your mama. I'm looking for Quit sending the kids out. Oh, look at you. Well, Slide the monkey's in out there. of the boat. So we got kind, we just need size now. Yeah. A little eight, nine inch black crappie. Let's see, make sure ain't nothing on them trees real There's quick. something right there on top. Oh, I was about to say, there's two or three of them on, up yeah, there. Yeah, right up there on top. I was gonna say, somebody got one. Come here, dude. There's a the Oh yeah, he got Oh, that's a good one. He got to come with us. Breakfast, that's number one for the day. That's a beautiful East Texas fish. What I like about these fish, man, the colors. 
Oh yeah. They're just so defined. I can see the 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 purple in them, and I like that purple in them. Uh, that one's missing a scale right there. Kind of a cool looking color. There. That might be my fault. It might be your fault. Yeah. <laughs> you might I pushed him in the mouth down there. But <laughs> pushed him in the mouth. I'll tell you what, that's a good looking fish though, man. That's a good eater right there. Yeah, it, it's good and wide across the shoulders. Yes, good sir. Good fillet. Back straps. Back straps. That's it. He got some back straps on him. That's all right. On the Hook is presented by Crappie Monster in partnership with Cornfield Fishing Gear. Guthrie Tackle, Skinny Water Marine, and Red Gold. It, that, that's a great thing. Uh, the docks that we're getting ready to shoot is right here beside us. But when we was coming in on our electronics, we saw some Christmas trees and some man-made structure out here from it. We're 40 feet from it. We're gonna hit this structure and then we're gonna go get the docks. It's the best of both worlds. Yep. And you can do it all with the same seven foot rod. Fish on, wishbone. Oh yeah. Good one? Yeah, good enough. We'll walk it out then. I know, that's that pain got him acting like that. Woo. I'll tell you what. I crossed his eyes. Uh, I'm pretty pleased with this little pile right here right now. I'll tell you now. what, we, we appreciate them for being here. Good little old thump, man. Hey, about the same size. They're cookie cutter 12s, but listen. Hey, 12 inch fish? Shoo, I'll take them all day. Listen to me. That'll work for me, man. We ain't in no tournament. Get off your line. Oh, I got your line. Let me get out of your way. See, oh, now, that's, that's the secret, guys. If somebody starts whipping your butt real bad, you start crossing them up. <laughs> bad to the bone right there. Uh oh, come, come on, on, baby. Puppy. We're vertical jigging. Oh, nice one. To get the job done. Oh, big head. Yeah, big head. Big head. Big head. Got him. You hear that? He! <laughs> oh, I thought I heard some. I knew I wasn't messing around. But stop now. Fight's over. Man, you ain't going nowhere, boy. I tell you, look at him. Oh, Uno. Yeah, oh, Uno. Done missing the eye. Yeah, that's a good feel. Look at the tail on that whale. I like it. I like it. Same beautiful colors on these East Texas fish. Terrible. Tell you what, man. The thing that I always think, especially in the summertime, early summer like that, is like, man, I wonder how, how big that fish would have been in the spring. Oh yeah. You know, how much more belly? I mean, she's got some good some good back straps, but she's just as skinny as she wants to be on the bottom, you yeah. know? It's a good fish, man. Like, oh, stop, girl, stop, girl. Oh, she mad at everybody. We're <laughs> body in. We don't she like you no everybody. way. She mad at everybody. Like the restaurant, we're going in the wheelhouse. Yes, sir. Get all in their business. I'm gonna lose me a jig head right here. We're checking the mail, everything. Hello. Oh my. <sighs> Woo, that Hold thing on, I got right your there. Back. I got your back. I got your back. Don't let him pick on me, Ken. And listen. Oh, he smoked me. Yeah, he, he took his time on me. He took his time. He better be glad he did. I'm taking him to the dentist's office. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna show them a little real foot trick here. Uh-oh, you got something for him? I got something for him. Uh-oh, I lost it. He's right in, in there. Yeah, no, I'm a little further back, but I, I... Got him. Got him. That bluegrass coming in there. That bluegrass. Yes, sir. Summertime, they'll get like that to where they're short striking really, really bad. And you and put the scorpion on them. I put the scorpion on them. The scorpion tail that I keep on talking about and what I use is to keep me from getting short struck. So all I do is I'll bite about half of the body off of the bait and then I run it onto the hook and I actually thread the hook 
all the way up into the tail. So the tail ends up sticking straight up in the air. And that's why that I call it a scorpion tail. So when they short strike me, they're not grabbing the tail. Yeah, they're grabbing the hook. <laughs> it's adjustments, man. Making adjustments. A lot of people, I'll tell you what, they'll go dock shooting, got their mind on dock shooting, and say, oh man, the fish ain't biting. But if they would have moved out 40 feet, 40 feet, 50 foot, there they are <laughs> on brush. You know what I mean? Oh, I know another place up, up river from us has got the same setup. Yes, hey, sir. We'll have hey. to check that out before we get out of here. I think it's time for that Yamaha to scream a little bit. Well, this is my first time here at Lake Palestine, man. I'm happy to be out here. These East Texas lakes are full of fish, have some really good fish. I love catching donkeys, and we plan on getting on a few with Jeremy Mattingly here today. One thing about it, man, um, just because it's a slower day doesn't mean it's not a fun day. I enjoy the hunt, man. Not every time you get on this lake, you're gonna get there, and as soon as you get there, it's just bam, 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 I'm a fish in the boat, you yeah. know what I mean? Sometimes you gotta go through your progressions. It might be a color change. It might be a location change. Oh, it, it definitely color uh, change. Listen. As soon as I change, I caught a fish there a while ago. Exactly right, and that's that's what I like, the build up, man. And that's something that's not always captured, you know what I mean? But understanding how to go through your progressions. All right. My bait's too heavy. They want it to fall slower. So I'll go from an eighth to a sixteenth. Well, here's a great point. Okay. This is the second time I've been on this lake. How many times have you been here? First time. First time. First time ever, man. And we're just using grassroots crappie knowledge. Yes. Just fishing knowledge that we've learned over the years and applying them to a brand new lake. Right. Now, of course, we had some insight from uh, Rod, the camera uh, boat captain. Right. So, and we took that and we built off of it. Exactly uh, right. I, I got to pre-fish for uh, yesterday morning. Kenny got here yesterday uh, afternoon and me and him went out pre-fishing. And that's when we found these. And uh, it, it's got the makings of a pretty good show right now. I feel like it, man. I, I just got to do something about this butt whooping you're putting on me right now. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there he is. That's a good fish. Nice black. Very nice black fish. Yes, sir. Let me get start catching up here hey, a minute. Hey, man. Gotta start somewhere. Gotta start somewhere. Very good fish. That right there is perfect eating size. 11 and a half inches or so. Yep. Nice black fish. They got a lot more meat on them most of the time than the white fish. Thicker. Thicker. Yep. Just thicker. Ooh. Oh, oh gosh, dog! Don't you yeah, come off her! Don't you come off her! Uh, uh, uh. All right, the last one was black crappie. Hey man, there's a white one. Same yeah. pile. They're hanging out. <laughs> this is getting really fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's it getting going now. Yeah. Look, it's about to get fun now. Uh, I, I'm about to start smiling a little bit. Right. I'm about to say it wasn't fun before, Jeremy. <laughs> No. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and do that one. No. But my little scorpion trick works. That is a confirmed look, kill right there. Look, I, I might be changing from cockroach to scorpion, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, don't look at that. Don't look oh, at that. Don't look back at boat. that. I told you. What I you got back there, Ken? I told you what was going to happen, man. Well, Ken done went and got an express delivery from Amazon back there. Uber Eats right there. Uber Eats. I'm, I'm delivering jigs. Uber Eats. That's a good fish. Man, I'm trying to tell you, some nice, some fat backs back there, man. If it wasn't missing three quarters of its tail, it'd be 12 and a half inches. Right, exactly right. <laughs> man, I tell you what, man, this makes me think this is a male fish, and there's a few reasons. If you look at his anal fin, it's real dark. Um, and then he, he still, if you look at his... His gill plates, he still has some darkness around his gill plates, man. And you find these fish like this late in June, um, they'll start tapering off, but he's still got a little bit of hormones going on with him. Jeremy, I didn't want to tell you this, 
I'm gonna go ahead and tell you because you've been talking about how you want to catch more fish. You see this right here? Remember what I was doing this morning? Yeah. It's time for a freshening up. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> I tell people all the time. That's what it is. When you look good, you fish good, man. When you look good, you fish good. <laughs> all right. Well, I, I'm just out of luck in that department, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, that brush ain't gonna do nothing for me. I hear you. Man, what do you say we go over and try another spot? I'm ready to go. I've got a brush pile that Rod Sealman loves to fish. And uh, I can't think of a better way to do it than is when he's running the camera boat and we're the ones fishing it. Exactly right. Let's wear him out. Let's wear him out. <laughs> On the Hook is presented by Crappie Monster in partnership with Yamaha, Avid Boats, and Red River Marine. If y'all remember, I was here last year with Rod Selman. Uh, we fished upstream last year, and this year, Kenny, we've got a spot picked out in Mid Lake. Got that one, didn't you? Oh, yeah, I did. She done hung in too, man. Oh, yeah. Need dear. a net? He's mad, that's for sure. I just don't know how. He's pretty good fish. Pretty good fish. Yes, sir. Switching up the technique, and that's why I keep four rods, two rigged, exactly the same, two long rods, two short rods. So when we come across something like this, we can make that transition. Yep. Now, Kenny made a little bit different transition, but the same basic principle. He just upped his jig head size and stayed with the seven foot rod. I went to the 14 footer so I could hold it right there on their nose. One thing about Texas, man, fishing this summertime is nothing to play with. First and foremost, you wanna make sure you get yourself hydrated. That happens the night before. And when you get out here on this water, it's good to get you a drink about every 30 to 45 minutes. Never let yourself get thirsty out here. Always be prepared for the heat and always be ready to go. Oh, oh, dang, it might be a good one. Is that a good see. one? Uh, he ain't fighting me real hard. I got him. I got him. Okay, okay. Yeah. Another 12-inch fish. Yeah, another keeper. That's all we got to do is be in the keepers. Be in the keepers. That's what, we, well, I, that's what we want to show people is how to catch and feed themselves and their family out here. And exactly. that right there is a heck of a way to do it. That's it. Sandwiches. Sandwiches. Okay. We got a shovel in his hand. I he see dig. why. I see why. These fish here is mad now. I see why. Oh! Yes, sir. Oh, why didn't you say something? I've got the net out for you. I let the rod speak for itself. There you go. <laughs> God, no! Come on now. Come on now. Ooh -wee. <laughs> this little piggy went home. And one thing about crappie fishing is it never stops. 365 days, I'd go every day if I could. And I tell you what, I enjoy myself every time, me and my dad especially. Man, Jeremy, I get the question all the time. And people say, man, do you catch those fish year round? Or they'll say, man, I can't catch them in the summertime. Or I can't catch them in the wintertime. And my, my response, and I, I try, you know, I don't want to be mean when I say it, and I hope nobody ever takes it that way, but I always say, do you eat year round? These fish have to eat year round to survive. The thing yeah. is, again, back, back to what we said earlier, you got to change the techniques, man. Yeah, you got to keep on changing techniques. You got to keep on uh, changing. All day long, I've been sitting here hard-headed thinking, well, I, I can catch them a different way than what Ken is, but but they're going to be finicky. And it can change day to day. It can change hour to hour. Yeah, it really could, which it has. I mean, you think about it. We've shot docks today. Um, we fished brush in, what, 10 foot? 10 foot, and now, and now we're, we're in 20. 20 foot of water, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it changes, man, daily, yearly, by the seasons, you know. You're not gonna find me in, in 30 foot of water in the spring. Now there are some lakes where you might find 30 foot of water. Oh, um, do I need a net? No, I got it, man. I, 
He's just an old keeper. Just a keeper. Just an old keeper. But to finish the thought, there's there's some lakes where you get in 30 foot of water and those fish might be spawning on the tops of trees eight foot down. Yes. You know what I mean? Especially yeah. with clear water, but that's just learning patterns, man. And that can even be state to state. Yes. You know? Wee! Yes, sir, yes, Jeremy. Yes, sir. I think that's a net fish, ain't it? Uh, it looked like it on the screen. Oh, yeah, big head. That's a good shot right there, man. Got the sun in your face. Good deal, man. That's awesome. Yeah, man. Those are some good East Texas fish, man. Man, I've had a ball down here. Me too. Now, I, I, I ain't never had a good time getting my butt whipped, but I did today. Hey, man. We're a team in this thing. I appreciate yes, you having me on, man. Man, it's always great to have you with us here. It's always a good time, and we've been able to get on fish and show people how to put them on the hook, and that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about, man. Mark it on your calendars. We're going to be coming back at you next week with another great episode of On the Hook. You never know what we're going to have in store for you, but we are 100% going to show you how to put them on the hook. I need a leg day.